Hello everyone, I'm Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo. I've been training in Yaido, the katana drawing, for seven years, and I also train in three different ryuha. I'll be explaining what I know about katanas to you today. In this video, I'd like to explain to you how to do the drawing and sheathing of the katana safely and properly. So if you're going to be drawing the katana, first of all, you should have your right foot in front and It'll be a little bit uncomfortable if the katana is too close to you, so you can use your left hand that is holding on to the tsuba, bringing your, the sword a little bit in front of you to be more comfortable. And from here, it's really important that you never hold on to the tsuka, the handle, from above like this. Because if you do this and try to draw the katana, this is what's going to be happening. You can see that the sharp edge is facing towards me. You don't want to slice your face in half, right? So you don't do that. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, but the hand. Your hand comes from underneath the handle of the tsuka. Underneath, you'll be able to correctly face a sharp side towards your opponent, your enemy. And when you do the drawing, it's not just your right hand. If you try to use only your right hand to do the drawing, it would be like this. It'll be very uncomfortable. So it's actually your left hand drawing back the scabbard towards your waist to do the drawing. So your right hand forward, left hand back must move at the same time. So let's do this again. Right hand from underneath the handle, right hand forward, left hand back at the same time. This motion to draw the katana out. Then from here, how to sheet the katana, how to put it back. Now, you want to put it back into the scabbard here, but doing this would be very dangerous. There's a high chance of poking your fingers. So what you want to do is you want to use your left hand as a rail, a guide, to bring the katana back into the scabbard. In order to do that, you actually must cup the end of the scabbard like this completely. You're gonna be putting your katana on your hand to guide it back into the scabbard. So you have your katana in front of you. Let's try to put it back. You cup the end of the scabbard completely. You bring the back side, the dull side, the rim of the katana onto your left hand like this. You literally place the katana on your left hand. From here, you just have to bring your right hand forward and your left hand back, just like what we did when we draw the katana out. And once the entrance reaches the scabbard, you bring the scabbard to the katana, the sheath. Now, for example, if you did not cup the end of the scabbard completely, if you had it like this, there is no way your katana will properly go into the scabbard. So at first it might be a little bit scary, but this is the correct and safest way to do it because you have complete control of where your blade is going to be heading from here. You do the sheathing. And one last point of caution. When you do the sheathing, what beginners tend to do is you cup the end of the scabbard, you put the sword on your hand, and then once it comes here, this is what beginners tend to do. What's happening is you're controlling everything with your right hand. When you sheath the katana, you control the angle with your left hand. You align the scabbard to your katana to do the sheathing like this. This is especially important in Budo martial arts related to the katana because you always want this tsukagashira, the end of the handle, facing towards your opponent, your enemy, because this is the only direction that you'll be able to draw the katana out. So, your handle, when you sheath, shouldn't move at all. Watch me do it again. Let's sheath my right hand. The position doesn't move at all like this. The height shouldn't move. And you come back to the first position. So everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. And if you are looking for your katana to practice the drawing sheath like we did today, it'd be great if you could check out Mini Katana.